Hello Flying RC FPV YouTubers! This video is about changing the ceramic bandpass trap filter in this module to get the audio to work and I'll tell you why. This is a great little receiver from Laser Brushless Gimbal that not only receives video but receives uh, two channels of audio and it is made to fit into the Fat Shark goggles specifically the dominators but can be retrofitted for the attitudes as well but if you live in the United States and maybe some other countries the audio may not work because this actually receives on 6.5 megahertz and uh, the transmitters usually transmit on 5.5 megahertz so there's a need to change the trap filter in this module so what I did was ordered some trap filters from mini kits in Australia and here's what they look like. I'm going to change the one in the receiver with one of these and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing to do is to remove this cover by turning the module over and heating these two pads with a soldering iron. Now I've previously done this but as you heat each one you pull at the cover from the top until it comes off and once the cover is off you can go back and heat the pads again and remove the excess solder with a solder pullet like this one so once the solder is hot with a soldering iron you just pull the solder and now you can see the holes are open so inside you will see the 6.5 megahertz trap filter right here and the first thing to do is to desolder this and replace it. Next I'm going to fasten the board down to the desktop with some duct tape just to hold it there. I'm warming the soldering iron up to about 600 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is heat each pad up and remove the solder with the solder pullet which is this thing applying heat to the leg rather than the pad when I'm doing that to try to prevent the pad from coming loose Next I'm going to trim the leads of the replacement trap filter to match the same length as the original and make sure the spacing is the same between the pins. Next I'm going to go ahead and tin all of the leads ahead of time. Alright, next I'm going to tape down the trap filter with some duct tape. So I got it stuck on there and now I'm going to line it up to the pins close as I can get it and tape it down. Alright I've got one of my alligator clip stands to give me an extra hand here just hold the lead down while I solder it. Alright now I'm going to put heat to the uh, pin but not the pad right now. I'm just heating the pin. I'm trying to get the pin hot. And there it is. I think that middle one needs a little more oh, solder. My hands are shaking today. I don't know what's going on. Of course, it's always harder to do it on camera. There we go. I'm going to hold down the trap filter while I peel the tape off. And there it is. Looks okay to me. Well, let's go ahead and test it before we solder the can back down. Opening up the fat sharks. Might as well take this cap off. It's fairly simple. Just need to get these pins lined up to those holes. 
and plug it in. Okay, testing it now, and you can see I'm receiving a video signal right here through my fat sharks. Hi there. And I've got uh, some earbuds plugged in right down here so that uh, I can listen to it. And it does indeed work. I'll see if I can get the earbud near the uh, camera so you can hear it. Okay, I have the earbud taped to the camera right here. And you're looking at my uh, FPV goggles and my uh, video pod from my plane is aimed at me right now. You can probably hear my finger rubbing the mic. So now, if I take uh, the video pod up and change the channel, you'll probably hear a bunch of static. And now if I go back to the right channel, you should hear the audio. And I'll just go ahead and rub the mic here. I'm rubbing the mic on my uh, transmitter and you should be able to hear that the sound is working. Okay, now that we've completed the test, let's just go ahead and we'll uh, solder this can back on. Okay, just a little bit of squeezing and I got the can to sit or seat all the way down. So now all I gotta do is to apply some solder to these pads. There it is. Okay, job complete. I might give it one final test, but, you know, I think that pretty much does it. Now, I've heard there's a mod where you can uh, solder a couple of these pins so you can get uh, audio in both sides of your earbuds. That's because these receivers only transmit on one audio channel, whereas the laser brushless gimbal uh, receivers for the Fat Shark uh, receive stereo audio. Uh, I think it's these two pins here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm happy with just one channel. I'll leave the other ear open to listen to what my buddies are saying while I'm flying. So I was surprised just how clear the audio was. There was no hiss. Uh, there was no hum. Uh, it sounded better than my ready-made RC receiver that I've been using, which always seems to have some hum in it. Hmm, I'm wondering about it now. Does it need a change of a trap filter or something? But, uh, it hum. Yeah, that answers a lot of my questions about my audio and how the audio is actually processed. You can get these from mini kits in Australia. And, uh, it only took me seven days to get them. Uh, they were very inexpensive. And as you can see, not that hard to change. So I would highly recommend it if you want the audio.